Can you believe it? We're in week seven of the high school football season, and every game now has an impact on the playoffs. Matt St. Jean has today's scouting report for the Friday Night Fever Game of the Week, where we look at how TCPS prepares for Vardaman. TCPS came into the season with high hopes. It has a roster stacked with seniors, including a touchdown machine in quarterback Kai Holiday. However, the Eagles lost its first two games to teams which are still undefeated, Bakersville and Nanawaya. The trip back to earth may have been the motivation they needed. We learned that we can play with those type teams and get, be physical. We know that we're not going to lay down against any opponent. Since then, the Eagles outscored its opponents 182-68. to In those three games, quarterback Kai Holiday put up ridiculous numbers. He scored at least seven touchdowns in each contest. He credited the team coming together as a whole after the first two letdowns. We started bonding outside of school and outside of the football field. And we usually get mad at each other while we're playing, when we make errors and stuff, but now we don't. Despite the impressive numbers, Kai Holiday was left off the all-star roster for both the North-South game and the Mississippi-Alabama game. That just added fuel to the already burning fire. Uh, it motivates a lot. Uh, me and my linemen came together. They, they promised me that they're going to show the world uh, what they're really missing out on. For head coach Sean Holliday, he said that quality players like his son Kai get dismissed because they don't play in 5A or 6A, and that all SAR team decisions come down to politics, not necessarily performance. 1A, 2A, 3A football, there's a lot of good players, and sometimes they get looked over because they are in 1A or 2A. You know, the game speaks for itself. Doesn't matter what level you're on, if you can play, you should give those kids an opportunity to play. 